Hello, Tim's RV Tips here to talk to you about a mini split system installation in a sprinter van build. So here's a system. Uh, it resides in the back of the van, protected from wind uh, during traveling, and is out of the main body. It's very quiet. Uh, any noise, uh, most of the noise would be outside the unit here. So very quiet installation. So here's the swing uh, arm uh, called a rack attach. I'll get into that later and then you can open the doors of uh, both doors uh, for an easy entry and exit from the rig. Now here uh, is the unit that I bought, the Mitsubishi, a Sear 33, a double or triple uh, some of the other ones. Uh, here's the rack attach, uh, uh, 359, pretty expensive, but uh, they shipped it pretty fast uh, from 1UP USA. I uh, was surprised these are rare. These are hard to find, the ones that swing on the driver's side. And here's, I liked them because they had the mechanical drawings uh, with it so I could plan. Here's the mounting plate. It's a, a vice plate mount, good for 200 pounds or so. And you can see here, uh, I have rubber mounts. So I have the vice plate attached to some heavy duty aluminum brackets and then uh, attached to these rubber mounts uh, to isolate the vibration. And here's, here's the mounts, pretty cheap, actually uh, almost two bucks a piece here on, uh, on Amazon. And here's an indoor look. So I had to cut a hole in the floor for the line set and the electrical wiring. And the, my system has a, a raceway going up there. I'm gonna attach the, uh, a flexible line here from Ideal Air. Very rare to find these for $138. Uh, and then here's the interior unit that uh, it shows the Mitsubishi and uh, some of the, the mounting here, and I'll get into how I mounted that later. But it has just enough room to operate in the van. Uh, the air inlet there, and uh, going over to the uh, the wiring and, and ducting um, uh, there in the van. Uh, so here it is uh, mounted. That little knob on the right is a infrared sensor that scans the room. Uh, this is the mounting plate. Um, mounted that uh, directly to the metal of the van. Here's how you remove the corners of it. And I had to reverse the drain line, the condensate drain line, as you can see here, removed easily. Uh, and I, I switched it here. I'll show you how I removed the plug. There's a rubber plug on one side and it's switched to the other side. Now I may end up hooking both of these up, but uh, the rubber plugs, you know, you can plug one side or the other but I'll probably end up um, using both condensate lines uh, because of the leveling of the van. Here's the electrical outlet, uh, electrical connections with that, which I have not done yet. So please subscribe. Thanks for watching this. And if you have any comments, I'm in the process of the build. See ya.